Sonic's got the cool glasses on. He's going to get ready to take on a big old bean today. And he's got his Coco Squad on our side. Which, by the way, uh, I ran around to make it a little bit more closer to dawn. And I actually got a memory token in the process from the map. So, uh, that happened. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Sonic Frontiers. Now it's time for the big boy puzzle of this, which is pinball. <laughs> that indeed it is. Oh, God. <laughs> what are you talking about, Sonic Frontier Crash? Oh, my God. Okay. I really don't know why that happens, man. <laughs> <clears throat> I really don't know why that happens sometimes, because Sonic Frontiers doesn't really crash in-game as it does, but, like, I don't know. Maybe it just happens to me and only me. I don't know. Maybe you just don't like pinball. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. That's definitely that's definitely it. You don't like pinball, do you? Well, too bad, because you're going to have to do it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. Okay. Um, so... The puzzle of Chaos Island is, you know, basically the most straightforward out of all of them. It's basically a, just a game of pinball. Because, as we all know, the ancients really, really liked pinball. Maybe there was a Coco out there who we missed that was removed from, you know, development or from the final build of Sonic Frontiers that really, really wanted to get a very high score in pinball to make all of their friends jealous. So in order to do that, we needed to actually help them help them out with uh, this pinball thing. Okay, so I'm at, so I'm not really explaining what I'm doing here. Basically, what we need to do is we need to get five million points in order to unlock the next portion of the story. And which that by that I mean the boss fight because of course it is. Now, here's the thing. I don't really mind playing pinball. I mean, pinball has been basically a staple of Sonic the Hedgehog since I don't even know when. I mean, heck, there was even a spinoff game about it. But did the score did the score really need to be like 5 million in total in order to unlock it? Because, well, I don't mind playing the pinball. It's just that it takes a very long time to do that. And, yes, you have score multipliers, of course, and it can go up to 256. But all of that will mean nothing if the pinball goes into the dead zone and, and uh, it resets. And it also resets the score multiplier. So, it's like, yeah, this didn't really need to be, it didn't really need to be, you know, all time, cons time consuming and everything. So... I don't know. I have very I have very mixed feelings about playing pinball for the uh, playing pinball. I mean, it's very worth it and all that. I mean, obviously, because the boss fight coming up is really good. But I just wish in all the updates that they did, they really just nerf the uh, or just decrease the score that you need to get in order to move on. Like five million points is a lot. They could have done good with, uh, you know, just 3 million or heck, even 2 million. That wouldn't have been so bad. Or maybe 2.5 million. That would have been great, but, you know, it's 5 million. And granted, it's very easy to get to, but once you once your score, multi score multiplier goes all the way up. I mean, heck, we're almost at, you know, our goal. But, again, what does that even mean when the ball goes into the dead zone when you really didn't want it to? So, at this point, you're going to have to be, like, extremely careful at that point. In fact, this is basically the longest I've ever survived. <laughs> I certainly didn't do... I certainly didn't last this long in the uh, other take that I did, but, you know. Hey, if I have an easy time, then I have an easy time with this. So once you get enough points, all you need to do is just to get it all the way up to the top. Because obviously getting a high score isn't enough for you. Come on. Come on, I know you can do it. I know you got it. Come on. Well, you have to do you have to flip it in like a very specific thing. 
That was the highest score I've ever gotten in pinball, and all because I couldn't get it up to the top. triggered an eruption, and the lava burned away the cloud bank and revealed... something... Hey, I've seen my fair share of pinball machines. I know one when I see one. Were those really part of the original ruins? I mean, the tech here outpaces Eggman's and is older than old. I guess the love of pinball predates civilization. Sonic? That Titan down there, do you really plan on fighting that? Even as supersonic, that thing is... Keeping you, Amy, and Knuckles trapped? So yeah, I'm gonna take it down. Sit tight, partner. I'll take out this last Titan and get everyone back to normal. Alright, we gotta head down there. And here's the interesting bit. This is basically the only time where an extra side story is unlocked. After you open up the way to that Titan down there, uh, another side story will pop up and it's the only time this ever happens. Coming up on the last Titan. Care to bet who'll be the winner this time? Recalculating. Your odds of victory have improved from impossible to highly improbable. Those are just the kind of odds I like to beat. So, these were built by the Ancients, too, right? They're pretty powerful enemies. Did they manage to defeat the Ancients' enemies? I can only hope their next victim is you. Jump over or parry the stone spikes to reach for Knight's head and gain the upper hand. And plus, we all know. We all know that Supersonic can take care of these Titans. So first, avoid the spikes from, you know, the roller blades. The death roller blades. Then jump over those spikes. Yeezy, bro. Yeezy. You can also parry the spikes too, which I didn't even know until like a few days ago. And now, here is. Guys, guys, are you ready for Infinite 2? They actually brought back the infinite theme song guy back <laughs> in this song. It's so good. <laughs> All right. So you can deal with Knight two ways. Just damage him regularly just like this by going around his shield during a combo. And then wait for a moment to get him around there. And then... Or, you can just bop his shield. And you get to 
launch his shield right back at him. After he throws it at you. It's so good. Oh. And here's the Grand Slam. I messed that up. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure he'll attack again, but I just want to just attack him regularly. Come on. Do it. There we go. That's more like it. God, Supersonic is my best friend in the universe. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, he's so cool. Oh, okay. Let me actually do this again. Because cause there's actually an additional thing. So, if Knight is at a low enough health in the first phase, then um, this happens. So, you get to fly the shield back at him, of course. The missiles will try to uh, knock you off course, but you just got to go for Knight. But once he's at low enough HP, then he can knock back the shield for a little bit to try to knock you way off course. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as you know which way to go. Use the missiles to your advantage if you can. Now here comes the interesting part. So you have to parry the shield back at night, but he's going to keep on constantly moving around. And all the while, he's just going to get more aggressive. So you have to learn how to keep your parry up at all times. The interesting thing is, is that um, for a certain thing that's coming up that I know is going to be uh, mentioned, can't actually hit Knight from a certain spot. It just takes a little bit of time and patience because he's always going to be moving around. But it's only going to be useful for a certain thing that's coming up. And now, Find Your Flame by Tyler Smith featuring Karen Quinn.
Strike Rate Trains, Marshall Lane. Driver, Mule.